everyone uh welcome or welcome back to my channel i'm courtney uh today i got a sketchbook tour for you um i've been a busy bee lately and so i don't have uh the time to sit down and make a lot of art right now but i do have time to sit down and look at art i've already made you know pro hack uh gotta recycle so yeah, this is the sketchbook that I used when I was a senior in uh, art school in college. Uh, it's now been a year since I graduated, and it goes a little bit past when I graduated too. But yeah, let's see. When did I officially start? Started September 2nd, 2021, finished September 12th, 2022. So about a year, which is kind of a long time for me, but also the sketchbook did have did have a lot of pages. Um, I made this myself. It's a Coptic bound sketchbook. If you look up Sea Lemon's like Coptic binding tutorial, that's what I used. Um, the paper is from a Canson mixed media wire bound like pad of paper. Uh, I don't like wire bound sketchbooks, so I just took the paper out and made it into an actual book that lays flat. Um, as you can see, the binding isn't great. She's kind of falling apart here, but it's okay. Um, you know, she, she held up enough. It's okay. In terms of the stickers, um, a fair amount of them are from a class. Okay, not a fair amount, like three of them. <laughs> These three are from like a class project we had to do where we had to make stickers. Um, this one is by my friend Oliver. This one's from my friend Al. I made this one. They're not for sale. I'm not planning on selling them. Um, got this from my friend Jay's uh like little kickstarter merch thing just a smiley face my friend sunny made this one it's their cat wissy uh random dracula my different friend jay <laughs> not the same jay but a different jay made these two um if you're a returning viewer my previous sketchbook had the third sticker in this little set and then i made these two stickers they're not for sale right now but it's because i have to like make an online store again so they will be for sale at some point in the future um little local stickers spongebob spider-man and then this is a vintage drew gooden sticker you know not to brag but i got these from his store when he was actually like selling these back in like 2016 or 17 when he started to like being on youtube more so you know, not to brag, but yeah, it's it's real. It's real official merch. So actually getting in here, I tend to just kind of like use my sketchbooks like they're like it, they don't have pockets, but I just put papers in them anyway. Um, let's see. Uh, these are Twin Peaks ramblings. <laughs> this is the sketchbook when I got into Twin Peaks and so a lot of thinking through ideas and stuff. I thought I was going to do some sort of like essay collection. I still might to be honest. Random. I think my friend Beck made that. I, I, I'm struggling to remember which is sad. No, I think Beck did make that. Um, and then so there's this band, Lawrence the Band, and uh, they do like a Secret Santa exchange thing. And my Secret Santa gave me this like really nice um, pencil case. It's like made out of leather. I, it's really nice. And I got compliments on it a lot. So yeah, thank you, Natalie. And these are the backings from the stickers that were on the back that I made. Then what else do we have? Art project, letter from my professor. <laughs> counseling and wellness from my school and also a black beard and yep as I said about a year to finish it the one thing I don't like about uh the way that I make these Coptic bound sketchbooks is I use I use like waxed thread but that ends up kind of like the wax sort of rubs off and then it like catches on the parts where it like opens which isn't great but you know so first actual page um this is right when the semester started uh for my illustration majors class our first project was to make um like a social media promotional image for this local company that does composting 
you know, not to be a hater, but they never posted mine. So, you know, they're missing out basically. So that's, that's a notes for this and other just like notes. Um, and then, uh, these are my character Aster. That's my character Re, random person, Dale Cooper from Twin Peaks. Um, classmate, uh, co-teacher that I hated. <laughs> Uh, and my character, August. More of my character, August. This is when I was really trying to get back in there and, like, figure out how I wanted to draw him. Just because, like, when I started, like, his original design was inspired by somebody I knew. And then that person turned out to not really be a good person. So now I have to, like, figure out how I actually want to draw him. Um... Yeah, he's he's a troubled little guy. And then more notes from uh, a class I was in called The Physics of Sound. Uh, it really didn't matter. Like, I, I, I wrote notes in here just because, like, it was a place that I could, like, write stuff during class and draw at the same time. Um, but it wasn't that serious. <laughs> then got Dev Patel as Sir... Gwen, the Green Knight, uh, one of my favorite movies. Uh, these were done during uh, another class called What's That Sound? It was about um, U.S. protest history. No, U.S. protest music's history, like throughout the history of the United States. Um, and yeah, so some of these are like classmates and then other just little stuff. Uh, I found when I was in classes, I would just like draw my classmates because I wanted to draw but I didn't know like what to draw I kind of miss it to be honest it's a nice thing to like have something to look at while you're drawing <laughs> so you don't have to think too hard um here are thumbnails for that composting project I ended up going with this one I'll insert a picture of the final if I can remember but it turned out really cool it's just not very like brand friendly I guess so I never posted it but it's whatever um, and then these were two ideas for Rezo prints I never made, unfortunately. There was one, uh, Candyman one and a Green Knight one. This is my character, Lila. And then these are the start of another character, uh, called the Texorcist. Uh, I gotta, I gotta draw them more. I love them. Here's more stupid notes about, uh, the physics of sound. It was an interesting class, don't get me wrong, but it was just like so nothing. Like the actual class didn't matter to me. Yeah, and so more Texorcist explorations. Um, I still don't know exactly like what I'm gonna do with them. Kind of like everything, like I feel like I come up with really good ideas, but then I get scared when it comes to the execution. And so then I just like don't, <laughs> but then I act like everybody knows what I'm talking about. That's kind of how I go about things. But yeah, love them. Um, more Texorcist stuff. But then on the outsides here were for uh, like thumbnails for a different school project. Uh, it was for a digital mixed media class and we were making like stock images. And so I was making stock images of like Halloween uh, food just because like, I don't know, I didn't want to do something like super marketable <laughs> you know me I can't stand being like marketable oh yeah and uh so, <laughs> so venting while people were talking during class um bless their heart i don't even remember who exactly that was about you know um more notes for physics of sound one day i was writing this way and then I came back and I wrote more notes this way. And then this is a thumbnail for a Killjoys piece I did. I'll insert a picture if I remember. And then a little Guillermo. Because this is when I finally watched what we do in the shadows. I don't know if this might be a little out of order. I think I'd probably do this after writing these notes. So this is when, like, I started trying to do Saints for Girls. But again, this is like pre them being called saints for girls um but let's see i i did write the cherry pie song and i i am anticipating writing the foul bite song um 
a lot of these are like like the vibes are still here but it just wasn't like fully formed yet um but yeah there's there's re this is when i figured out i wanted because like before she just had pigtails like really high pigtails and this is when i decided to have kind of like the half up half down um and that's cass uh that's technically jazz but she doesn't look like that anymore <laughs> she's way more butch now um and then this is my friend's dog um Faye, with a little like yoda uh not a mask a hat <laughs> Oh, and then this is when I saw Orville Peck in Portland. Uh, so I drew him a little bit. These are, the drawings aren't great, but you know, it was it was the vibe, right? Like it was, it was the vibe that was carrying me through. Uh, and then a random little uh, like cowgirl character. She's cute. I should like develop a cowgirl more. Um, more class stuff. Um, some random little life drawings and then this was a thumbnail for the piece that this sticker came from uh it, it's a fuller piece than just that little sticker but uh yeah it was like plants and like punk rock music because it was for a charity or company or whatever that does like uh ecological work <laughs> like they they promote like you saving the planet or whatever at concerts so that's why and then another texture cyst and a hair that's awesome <laughs> notes taken while during uh like how to do a podcast because for that protest music class our final was making a podcast um a spongebob uh venom <laughs> more texturesis thought about giving them like a weird collar because it's it's very like matrixy like y2k like that sort of aesthetic um and then another little life drawing and then <laughs> i remember when i made this like the school that i went to does um like a holiday sale every year and you can apply to be the person who does the art in the front window and I remember I think I was very tired but I remember being like oh man I kind of have an idea and it's like there's a bunch of like little guys like helping with like really big like Christmas lights um <laughs> and then, like this is during a lecture I think and then when we came out I was talking to my friends about it and I was like, oh yeah, I, I had like a little something and I pulled this out. They're like, what even is that? <laughs> like, it's so nothing. But in my head, you know, it's really good. And then this is a sketch for like a vampire Orville Peck thing. The idea is cute. I really don't like how the drawing turned out. I didn't like it when I made it and I stick by it, I guess. But like the concept's there. Um more august this one's really cute especially very very scrungly um and then the texturist this is a will graham um this was a bunch of notes about like copyright because we had like people coming in to like talk to all the seniors about different topics so this was a useful one that was a good one um here i think it was after an artist krista perry came and talked to us uh she did like an artist talk and she does a lot of text and so i just started like writing more in my in my sketchbook um so yeah a lot of it's just like stuff i was hearing out loud during lectures um and then this is aster the face is like a little weird but like the vibe is there you know and then some twin Peaks stuff I got a dale another dale harry andy yeah, Twin Peaks, really great. I was also watching it with my roommates, and so I was re-watching it. They were watching it for the first time. One of them was. Anyway, that doesn't matter, but yeah, we were in Twin Peaks mode. Um, another Dale, Dale and Harry. This one's just Kyle MacLachlan. Um, it's from the picture where he's wearing that Dune uh, muscle tee. Um, yeah, just really good. I did the sketch, and then I like kind of ruined it with like watercolor after but it's okay like ruined it but in a fun way
And then this is like, uh, this spread took a while. It wasn't all in one day. Um, I guess I kept writing like, oh, like I'll draw something on Halloween or like I'll, I'll write, I'll take notes while we're talking about senior thesis stuff. And then I like just didn't actually write anything. Um, I had this like idea. I don't, I don't even, it was an idea for something. I was really feeling it at the time, but it didn't happen. Um, and then more advice. Uh, and then this is during a talk with Johnny Sun. I don't know if that's how, how you say his last name, but it was a good talk. Someone was like, I was drawing this during class and one of my like friends was like, is that your Twin Peaks guy? And I was like, yeah, it is actually. Um, just some random horror girls. And then this Orville was based on an album cover for something. And I don't remember what, but we were just like, we were talking about music because it was during that protest music class. And there was like a, an album cover that came out. I was like, oh my God, that pose is so fun. But I didn't write down like who it was. So that's cool. Then during this day in protest history class, we were talking about LGBT music. So that's this. And then this was from uh, another artist lecture. This page is kind of a mess. <laughs> um, I was trying to do something. It didn't turn out. Uh, Big Top Burger reference. I was using uh, Neo colors in this. Those like little uh, like pastels that are water soluble. It's like fine. It's whatever. I do still like this Laura. Uh, this was a bunch of notes from my like we did like a mini thesis uh and so these are notes from that noticing that the tape is yellowing which is super cool <laughs> but yeah they like kind of flip up and stuff i just wanted like somewhere for them to live and then more um more texasist stuff these are during that critique um i really do like this one um random little notes and then uh, I did a really good drawing of Lucy and then I tried to go on top of it with like acrylic paint and I kind of just like ruined it. Like I, I lost it. I, I lost the plot, which was sad. These are trees. Um, I think these are both trees that were at, outside of my house. I don't think I was like referencing other trees. Yeah, like trees are one of those things that like I always kind of struggle with drawing. Um, I think I'm getting better now just because I have to paint them for my job. But yeah, always kind of mystified by trees. And then random little class stuff, um, a little self-portrait, um, stuff that was by my friend Eric because we were sitting next to each other. Um, and then <laughs> more venting while somebody's podcast was playing. Um, you had to be there, basically. Uh, these are really faint Twin Peaks things. Um, more life drawing. Uh, people just, like, around me. This is a really good drawing of my professor. I know you don't know her, but, like, this is her. Like, I crushed it with that one. Um, and then August. More August more August. <laughs> this is when I was trying to like write his story a little bit. Um, I, that version is not going to see the light of day, but like it was a good stepping stone into what I want it to be now or whatever. And then uh, these are the first little drawings that I was kind of experimenting with for the main character of my comic Signals. And now she doesn't actually look like this now. Um, this is, like, when I really didn't know, like, what the story at all was going to be about. Um, the paper I just took out was, um, like, this is when thesis started. Um, and I was, like, showing my professor. Um, as you might notice, none of these are the ones that I actually ended up doing. I have a different, I have a different sketchbook for just my thesis stuff. So I'll do a video about that at some point and, like, kind of talk in depth about it. But... Yeah, that's, that's where this started. So December 17th, 2021. And then 
uh, Harry from Twin Peaks. And then uh, I was in class again and I was conceptualizing this turn to hate piece. Um, I'll insert a picture of it if I remember, but yeah, like the text is very close to how it ended up being these little sparkles and then the pose. Yeah, really just figuring it out on this spread. More life drawings. Uh, I did these with my fountain pen, um, just like no sketch underneath. Um, so yeah, these were people knitting <laughs> other people and then just random objects around the classroom. Really important Venn diagram, you know? Uh, just like really, really good. <laughs> and I still hold by it. <laughs> Sorry, reading it again. Uh, a Snoopy, <laughs> uh, Aster, and then my cowboy guy who does not have a name. Um, when I'm posting this, he's going to be on July's postcard in my postcard club on my Patreon. I'll always be plugging. And then this is a thumbnail for a commission I did. Um, it's officially 2022 now. Congratulations. Um, some random drawings, notes taken during a uh, meeting with uh, someone I was doing a commission for. And then I was trying to figure out how to draw <laughs> Tom and Greg from Succession, but these are so bad. This is when I finally watched it. Um, and then Lila and Aster. These are some good Lilas. The Aster isn't good. <laughs> and then here's a random little spread. Um, I had just like done the I, I wanted to do a self-portrait or something didn't know what to draw and then this is random paint left over uh this is like the first time I did it and I I still do it now so it's cool to see this first one then this was on hourly comic day um I always forget every year that it's coming and then I I, there's several reasons why I can't do it. Like, I don't have the wrist stamina to draw all day like that. And I usually am not doing anything particularly interesting. And I also just, like, forget. So, yeah. I had a good-ass breakfast, though. Like, gotta say. Really crush it with that. Um, and then... So that was all this. And then... Uh, this is when I started my independent projects class. And I really did not know what I was gonna do so I was like trying to figure out stuff also these are two classmates um at first I thought I was gonna do like horror and so I was just trying to like thumbnail and ideate like something something that I could paint and then I ended up going with wizards and so these are all like books that I checked out from the library and um these are drawings I did for our first project um a cousin Greg a Mitski. I still really like this spread. I think it's fun. Um, just random, uh, like, stuff during class. Um, a lot of, like, drawings of people around me. Uh, I was, this is when, like, a pirate class started. So, uh, you know, a little pirate. Uh, yeah, yeah, just, just people. People I was around. <laughs> And then more signal stuff. Um, again, these didn't actually end up making the cut. Uh, but, you know, the vibe was there. And then these are during a critique. Um, everybody in my painting class did not know how to talk loudly. So it was... I, I always struggle with that. Like, I don't know if I actually have, like, hearing loss. But I just, like, have auditory processing problems. And it's just, like, really hard to hear people sometimes. And then this is like a whole spread of uh, the people I was seeing during um, my my pirate class. So yeah, I could just like, Jay, Eric, Quinn's hat, Anthony, uh, Kate, Trey, Riley, Oliver, Hunter, and my water bottle. Obviously, you don't know any of those people, but this Jay is the Jay that drew these. Fun fact. Oh, and that Oliver is the Oliver who <laughs> drew this. <laughs> More random little things. Um, uh, a Dale saying Diane, the homies are wavering. 
um, I was thinking about uh, a painting that I was kind of planning on. Um, these are done with my trusty pencil, this uh, Sumo Grip. I don't know who originally made it. Um, but yeah, these are great because they're just like really thick and so they're comfortable to draw with. Um, I still got to make a knuckle tat zine at some point and then more life drawing. I think this is during like creative writing. Oh my god, the, these are like, the professor I had for that class always just like, you know when you pick up on patterns of how people speak and then it's all you can focus on? It was one of those. Um, more painting critique stuff. This is during a different critique. Um, I, these two were inspired by paintings that other people did. Um, and then some asters. Not super accurate. This is not how I see them. Um, I saw the Batman. Some lilas and asters. Um... Again, not super accurate. Um, I, I like this one. This reminds me of Prokaryote Season by Leo Fox, actually. I don't know why. Just something about the face there. Um, a Texercist. Yeah, I was missing my OC hours because, like, I was just so busy with school that I didn't have time to, like, think about them much. Another random little spread. Um, I wrote a little thing in my creative writing class inspired by the Texas world about like a god computer and so that's that um really in Mitski mode uh oh you know what this is right around when she was supposed to play in Boston and then it got canceled <laughs> or postponed until July so that's why um it was really nice out so I was drawing outside um and then this is in my creative writing class I, I must emphasize that this was uh, because I was listening to Charlie XCX's song called Yuck. I don't feel yuck about any of these people. These people are all very nice. Um, and then my cowboy guy again, and I was trying to figure out, uh, you know, kind of like a, you know, they're cowboys, right? So I'm trying to figure out his like rival, homoerotic lover, whatever. But I don't know if that's still like his story, yeah, I don't know. Uh, saw everything everywhere all at once. Uh, it's covering up a drawing I didn't like. And then uh, Lila that I actually did really like. The stylization like works there. I don't know. And some Nandors that I don't really like. So we're <laughs> skipping. Um, then more notes from critiques. Um, this is my teacher. And then... Uh, this is like a random little exercise, like a little drawing exercise. Um, I was helping a professor do like a pre-college, or not a pre-college thing, but like a accepted students day workshop. And there's like a specific method to it. And that's what I was trying to do here. So, but instead of like, with that, you're supposed to like trace stuff from books and like use that imagery. But here it's just like using the imagery from my classmates paintings. Yeah, I like it. It's cool. It's a fun little thing. A uh, really faint page. Um, some asters. Uh, a black beard. Uh, Nandor and Guillermo. This is my last critique ever. Um, this was before, uh, this is Friday the 13th, um, this is before I sliced my thumb open and had to go to the emergency room, that was awesome. I went to urgent care. Well, no, no, I kind of did go to the emergency room, actually. I don't know if you can see it, but I, it was right there. I just kind of went, like, with a exacto knife. It was super awesome. It was great. Um, and then, uh... I didn't draw in this book again until after I graduated. Um, um, I was about to say that almost looks like Abigail Hobbs, but it's not. And then I was trying to figure out how to draw the main character of Signals. Then random little drawing of Aster. Um, and then uh, for the Folio Society, they do a thing every year where they like 
you can like submit an illustration and like based on a story they pick. And so this is for last year's, which was the Mask of the Red Death. I really liked my piece actually, but I did it in like a day. <laughs> I, I submitted it like the day it was due. Um, but yeah, I mean, I got like a cool piece out of it, so not mad. Um, another movie ticket that faded really bad. I don't know exactly why, but you know, it's for Crimes of the Future. <laughs> and then this was after I, um, after I went to visit my friend Jay at like a lake cabin that they were renting for a bit with their family. Um, it was a blurry face summer. Like, you know, listen, you don't have to like 21 Pilots, but it was just the truth. Okay. You had to be there. Um, and so that was what all that's inspired by. And then... Uh, this was a succession drawing. <laughs> I had to add this paper because, like, I don't know. The portions still aren't right, but, like, if this wasn't there, like, then I don't, like, it would, I guess, like, I think his, like, ass should be, like, here. But, like, I needed to add another paper to it. Um, and so this is when I started <laughs> working at, um like as like a HR assistant it was short-lived um it was not a good time it was the beginning of the end for uh 2022 for me <laughs> um but in the meantime um I had uh watched Zombies 3 which listen is not a good film but it was one of the only things I had going for me at the time um and then I saw Nope twice Damn, that's crazy. Didn't even like, like, didn't even go to a matinee, like full price show. Um, <laughs> and yeah, and Reagan, Reagan. Um, I got new like erasable colored pencils, and so I was testing those out. Weird little uh, Tetsuo from Akira random person um little thumbnails for pieces that did not turn out um this is i think at this point i was sick of the sketchbook and i was like i just need to finish it like i just want to finish it i don't care about the sketchbook anymore i need it to be done um and so this chunk of drawings that you're about to see i did while high <laughs> And so there's a, a certain looseness to them. <laughs> um, some more Texorcist, uh, August and Lucky, August and Lucky, well, Lucky and August more so. Um, a random thing inspired by like a pair of bat jeans and also that one character from that fighting game. I can't think of her name, but you know the one. Um, random Texas's stuff. Like, they're on, like, public transportation and these punks are, like, talking to them. Uh, August bending a spoon with a live lucky reaction. <laughs> um, August and Lucky and Drew, who's another character from that story. Well, the, the, f mm, the second version. <laughs> that story's been through a lot. Um, I can't, I can't get into it. Uh, scandalous drawing of Lila and Aster. Um, August and Lucky again. Uh, I was thinking about We're All Going to the World's Fair, which is a very interesting little film. Um, so I drew the cover of it. A Miku, and then Wizard Cowboy, Vampire Cowboy, you know how it is. And then, um, Oh yeah, that's right. I did. I I painted uh, my friend's dogs for her birthday, so that's what that's from. Uh, this is when I interviewed at a bookstore. Didn't get the job again. Also, kind of the beginning of the end. Random drawing text. You kind of see like once I got out of school, I was really just like fumbling around. <laughs> Okay, this is on 9-11, um, pertinent because I had seen MCR a couple days before, so Gerard, Gerard, MCR, 
I, I did a full digital thing of this. And then here is when I really started thinking about Saints for Girls again. And so here I was trying to like do some different stuff with Re. Um, I, I like this one still. I like the expression on it. Um, and then these are casts, not accurate. I don't, I don't like that version. Um, more Jazz, Frankie, of course. Um, this is still when Jazz was like them, so not accurate anymore. <laughs> this one's cute. It's uh, Cassidy and Frankie. I should actually like draw a new version of that. Um, and then I think that's technically Re, but it doesn't really look like her. So, and then another Re. And um, like a random cowboy thing. And that's it. So um, I do still have other stuff in here that I can show. I don't want to show these too much, but these are all my ideas for knuckle tats. Um, that will be in a zine at some point. I use this little binder clip because it doesn't have like a pocket. Um, this is a zine my friend Trey made. This was the um, thumbnails or like sketch for um, a zine I made called Anatomy of a Cowboy. I, I have more copies of it. I should sell them, but I haven't, I haven't folded them yet. So that's kind of the limiting factor. And then this is like random... <laughs> succession stuff then a business card a couple stickers um a sketch i did for a redraw of the severance poster and then these were the original lines for um a succession piece i did the Tom is so bad, but the Shiv slays. Like, the Tom, like, this is the second take on his face, and it's still, like, bad, bad. And then these are some little postcards that Krista Perry gave us when she came and talked to us. Very fun, very fun. Uh, this is my favorite bookstore in Portland. It's called The Green Hand. Uh, I forgot I had a sticker. Another uh, business card. Ooh, unfortunate that they put the Mecca email because they deleted our emails once we graduated. Uh, a vintage Mecca sticker that doesn't have the and D on it. And then this era, this is like in December of 2021. This is when I was really into doing lines on paper and then scanning them in. So got a little Spider-Man and then some Kendall's. And then another Mecca thing. Yeah, for the, I was on the curatorial team for our thesis, so that's what that is. Um, oh, this is planning for a paper I wrote comparing digital piracy and like piracy in the golden age of piracy. It's pretty slay paper, to be honest, kind of crushed it. And then more Krista Perry stuff. All, all these are hers. And then here, I wanted to like do more finished drawings of the Texorcist. So I was trying to like ink uh, sketches I'd done in here. Didn't end up doing it though. Um, this is another artist that came and talked to us, Blair Thornley. Uh, uh, a to-do list. <laughs> Illustration organizations and associations. And then this is Orville. <laughs> this is the the picture that I was looking at while I was trying to do the vampire one. <sighs> this picture is still so cool. I should try to draw something based on it again, but this wasn't it. And then I still want to draw this picture of Shelley Duvall, but haven't yet. And that's about it. So thank you if you stuck around this long. Um, if you want to support me in any type of way, um, you can join my Patreon or I'll put the, I'll put this sketchbook scan on my itch.io. It's also on my Kofi, um, but yeah, I've been trying to put more stuff on my itch.io, so I'll put that there. Uh, and yeah, if you want to see more sketchbook tours, let me know. I got more sketchbooks I can go through. Um, and thank you for watching. See you next time.